to talk to you today with this same beautiful map from 1779 of the United States and the Caribbean. Um, and we're going to be talking about weather. Uh, you notice the prevailing winds here are coming off uh, North Africa and the Sahara Desert. These are extremely powerful winds. And, and Occasionally, they bring things in here like um, Laura, the hurricane that's hitting today, yesterday and today. And I have a, a ex-daughter-in-law named Laura, who's sweet as can be, but this is a pretty dangerous storm. And it's probably the toughest storm to hit uh, one of my favorite parts of the country, uh, southern Louisiana, in many years. Uh, huge uh, 30 foot swells, um, 115 mile an hour winds, and it swerved around here, hit Louisiana directly, uh, particularly the, uh, uh, just barely missed New Orleans. Uh, but this is all pretty much Cajun country, and we'll discuss that in a moment. Then it's going to curve, go through Arkansas, which is the name of the tribes, the fair men, the Indians. And whip across here into Chickasaw country, where we are, right approximately here. And of course, it's died down great. There we will get plenty of rain, and then it's going to go mm, all in all. But uh, this uh, uh, it's the interaction of the various continents and, and the prevailing winds and weather. But it also helped people sail over here. And uh, the, uh, another thing I, I, I want to mention is the uh, uh, talking about things moving from place to place uh the battles between france and britain uh the uh, french had most of canada we had and couldn't uh, nova scotia and so on and the, the brits had uh the eastern coastline below that and the spanish down here uh but the uh british uh captured part of Nova Scotia, the Acadian part of Nova Scotia, and, and transported the people, French-speaking people, from there uh, down to uh, Louisiana. And uh, the uh, Acadians, of course, they have their own music, they have their own dancing, they have their own cuisine, uh, they're remarkably resilient people. And um, in the 30 years that we went to the New Orleans Jazz Fest, uh, one of my favorite things was to visit them and also to hear them play at the fest. Uh, this is, because uh, we'll see how large Louisiana was at that time. In fact, they claimed much, much of this land. And um, uh, I wanted to show some other shifts of people. Uh, this is Natchez here on a huge, beautiful bluff on the west east bank, and uh, the Natchez Indians uh, were <laughs> decimated, and they, the remainder of the Natchez were just above where we live, up in what would be western uh, Kentucky. Remainder of the Natchez, allies of the English, obviously the French defeated them. Uh, and then the uh, Chickasaws, uh, this was ch uh, generally considered, where we live, Chickasaw hunting ground. And uh, General Jackson persuaded them, uh, point of gun, to move uh, down south. Uh, of course, they had been there too, but uh, they were moved um, forcefully down to Mississippi. And uh, so there's a great movement of people from time to time, sometimes at the point of a gun, sometimes uh, for uh, health reasons, other things. Um, but this is the way things go uh, amongst people and the land. 